Welcome to this new series where we're going to take our current application, which is this person view application, we're going to extend on it, and then we're going to start persisting our data inside a real database, a MS SQL database, or a MySQL if you want to later, it's up to you. You could even put a Mongo database behind this. But right now I'll focus on doing it inside an MS SQL database. And in the end, we'll try to put it on an Azure cloud solution just to show you how that is done and how you can actually start working with your data online on a real cloud solution. So the first step will be to take our current setup that we have right here and get it into a, a, some kind of database instead. And right now it's a list of items. You can still add, you can delete, you can update everything. We showed that in the last series about how to do that, how to make a layered application. So we're going to continue working on our layered application here where we have the data logic layer and the person web app, which is... Um, the web application part of it. So this is the front end of the presentation layer and this is the data logic layer where we can store our data right now. So this is going to be the second step of our two-layered application where we're going to extend on it. So instead of storing data inside stupid lists like we're doing right here, just a basic list right here, we're going to actually start putting it into the entity framework to make it a persist. And also I'm going to add new things into this, like a wish, uh, so the person has a list of wishes. He can also have a list of friends, and now that means that we can make some kind of application the way we can both administrate all the person's wishes and everything. And then in the other side, we can also start showing as a person his friends and what those friends are wishing for their birthday or whatever. That's kind of the goal of the application. And uh, that's going to be, all of it is going to be in this uh, series where we're going to have a lot of fun and hopefully I can show you how the NT framework can make your application great. Another thing I want to work with um, is going to be the bootstrap setup. So I want to explain to you guys how bootstrap actually works. We just used bootstrap last lesson without actually talking about it, the last series. Now we're going to start talking about like what's the response of design and why does this button pop up here uh, when I get into a specific range here, and if I go back out, you notice it'll go back to a menu bar like this. How does that actually happen using responsive design? And how can we make it work? Why does this color go, go yellow and this color is red? And how does that work? And how can we, can we make that? And how do we actually scaffold or autocomplete an entire view for an admin page? So we're going to get into all of these different things, and you are hopefully going to learn more about how to make a great MVC application where you actually start storing your data in a database. See you in the next lesson.